hello welcome to my vlog welcome to um tonight tuesday from my point of view the 15th um okay well tomorrow morning i'm in to uh get my not my back sliced and diced <laughs> yeah i'm actually thinking about whether or not i go and try it and see if there's a video on i don't know youtube or other a and other um so spoke to the anesthetist today i'm going to stop playing with my hair because that's going to annoy you um as much as anything else uh mm. um so spoke to the anesthetist today he called and asked if we could have a quick chat before i went out to meet my son um so yeah he was pretty good um stupid little things like where do I put my hair, you know, came into it. Can I plait my hair? Because that could mean that there's a rogue hair tie, you know, could go missing in the operation field kind of, you know, thing. Um, but no, he just asked about my meds and asked if I was all set. And they keep asking, why are you going for surgery? And I'm kind of thinking, uh, you should know that question. But I think they're checking mental status. Do you understand what your procedure is kind of thing because some people might not um so yeah he rang and then the nurse rang and she explained some of the morning kind of routine so i get in at 6 30. i oh no where's flopsy oh he was on the couch no oh god he might be over here no he's not well how do you know i don't know I can feel he's not there. Oh dear. I'm not stopping my video. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh. So the nurse explained, I'll be going in for 6.30 fasting and the procedure won't really start until about 8. That's when the surgeon is due to kick off. Um, so I have an hour and a half where I'm going through paperwork last minute stuff i've already paid so that's going to be less of an issue um i saw on the paperwork that i've got to have a shower with some antibacterial i'm not going to be able to reach my back <laughs> i don't know how that's going to happen but anyway having said that i wasn't going to be anything near here while you're recording i'm very sorry to interrupt this is what i found in our daughter's room She's taken a box of his tricks. <gasps> I don't. I don't know what the tricks the are. Recovered batteries. Oh, yeah, where you, were they? You don't know. Where? Not the complete set. Oh, this is the, the ones box. I had recovered. This is the box that was on the dining table. The ones I had recovered. That I asked her if she could find the batteries. And they're still missing ones. Yes. Alright, she's well. taken the whole box this time. <laughs> I think she thinks she's. So it. she's in bed. Right, she's an engineer. Has she got flopsy? Yes. Right. Hopefully when I finish the video, she'll come back so I can watch Bluey with her. Um, so yeah, I've got an hour and a half kind of hanging around. They'll take the phone off me kind of last minute. So I'll have my phone. I can do some reading. I will put my stitching and my knitting in my bag. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but it'll be there if I need it. Um, Marcus will bring in my computer after the fact. Um, so, yeah. Um, if I'm compass mentis, I may get back to you guys tomorrow night. Um, we'll see how I go. Um, if you want a delirious Pippa. Oh my. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, from her hospital bed. <laughs> well, that would be interesting. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh my god. Yeah, I have no idea how to make videos um, on my phone. But I do have the toys. Um, well, I have the toys on this computer. I could throw them up onto Google, which means that I can grab them off Google on the computer at the hospital and do some magic jiggery pokery there with my phone and make a hotspot and all that kind of thing. So I've got to make a list now of all the stupid things to remember, like the extra long phone cable to reach from the socket to the bed, 
for instance, so that my phone can be charging while I'm using it or whatnot. I've got a two meter cable. Think stupid, stupid things like that. I just want to have on hand. Um, I'm bringing my work computer because it has cellular network and it just means I can go online without fussing about hotspots. If that doesn't work, I'll, uh, and it's a nice little computer. It's, um, I think it's a Dell Latitude notebook that can flip to a touch screen. It's all kinds of high tech. Um, but it doesn't have my recording program on it. I could probably go live. <laughs> Not that that might be a thing, but, um, yeah, I could pro potentially go live on a private and have it recorded up in the Ethernet kind of cyberspace. I don't know. I don't know. Um, not it, it should it be a priority? I don't know. It's a distraction. That's what it is. Um, caught up with my son. That was really cool. He gave me a present and he gave Sophie a present. Um, so that was nice. We didn't talk about the estranged siblings they haven't responded to my text message they're probably talking to each other and trying to find out who knows what where and what's going on um when i was in the store that my son works for um i got some stolen with a best buy date in february i think um stolen being a fruit loaf or fruit bread maybe uh, sultanas and raisins in bread and there's a marzipan core that goes through it and I think there's icing sugar drenched on it. So there used to be a fruit cake that I was able to get in Ireland. It was basically, it was a white fruit loaf. It was, so it was just kind of a sweet bread, I suppose. Um, and it used to have icing on the top. Now you can get something similar in Australia, but the icing is much softer and they usually throw coconut on it. It's just an Aussie thing, coconuts in everything shits me to tears um so i've got some stalin i got some almond fingers i got some smoked salmon that's good until after christmas um marcus i will get to make me brown bread i need to cut off or him cut off enough slices to be able to put into a vacuum sealed bag freeze it to then be able to give to my son because he was asking for some brown bread bless his socks um I'm not going to be able to eat a whole loaf by the time it starts going off either, you know, that kind of thing. But, you know, and trying to get Marcus to serve me smoked salmon. Yeah, that's going to be a real doozy. I mean, he'd have tissues stuffed up his nose just to avoid the smell of fish. And then he'd be washing in soap like 10 times. He hates the smell of fish. It makes him gag. But he always, when we go out for food, he always eats fish. It's so weird. But the smell really puts him off. Anyway, it's slightly hilarious. Um, sorted stupid things out like um, he's now got third party access to my super fund um, I told him if anything goes wrong with me the best thing he needs to do is get my mobile phone because everything is in there my passwords my people my emails everything is in my phone he's got his fingerprint on my phone so he can get in he can use all my accounts and everything else I've printed off a list of numbers of people he can call should something happen or should he need help um so all of that is there the stupid things that you kind of organize um pet food regime sophie feeds mocha with me um you know so just giving the instructions for feeding mocha feeding the cats um i expect to be home before the cats need um their water actually changed so i can give instructions then but you know he's got them um, I asked the kid to tidy her bedroom to the best that she's ever done. She did a, you know, 90% offer on it. Um, yeah, her room is certainly better than Sophie's, but yeah, um, reasonably good. Her washing is probably still in her wash basket though, um, and not put into the washing, the main washing basket. So yeah, it's going to stay there until she learns, put your washing in the wash basket. And then the washing can get done. And then Marcus can put it on the clothes of us. Because I won't be able to lift the friggin' thing. Yeah. Five kilos. And I'm kind of going, you know, with everything around the kitchen. How much does this weigh? How much does this weigh? You know, just to try and get an idea. You know, I mean, 
a full carton of milk is three kilos, but you know, it's, it doesn't, it's not a lot. Um, I did read a blog. I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday. I read a blog from somebody who had had the spinal surgery. She sounded like she was in worse pain for longer than me. Um, before her surgery and just the whole recovery and it was it's a little bit daunting um to be honest um but you know we'll see how we go i i just want to wake up at the end of it <laughs> i know it's the dark humor i'm i'm so used to it with my job it's like yeah well you got to think of something else rather than the reality um yeah, and I'll be telling Matthew. Matthew is my anaesthetist. I'll be telling him tomorrow. Just make sure I wake up. Um, you know, after that we can deal with the fallout, which hopefully won't be too bad. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at. It's all kind of all systems go. Um, I haven't handed over the reins of the premiers, but I have also given partial control um, to support. Um, me, if stuff goes awry, she could be my backup. So uh, she offered way back and I called her on it and I know she will do a fantastic job. So I really appreciate that. That's why I called on her. Um, the late premiers still have to roll in. So she's got control over where the information is, who the people are, and she can access the playlist to be able to add to it. So that's the main thing. Um, or at least she hasn't told me that she doesn't have any access. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm okay. I think I'm good to go. We're up early in the morning. I've set an alarm for 5.30. That's like sparrow fart here. The um, blackbirds might not even be up at that stage. We'll see how we go. Um, I still haven't had chocolate, though. I had, oh, no, it doesn't count. I had a chocolate marshmallow Santa yesterday with Sophie. She had two bites. Um, and I made chicken for my last supper <laughs> um, tonight. Marcus hates cooking chicken and I was on the barbecue and the kid picked drumsticks. I'm kind of thinking, yeah, drumsticks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd go with that. Although, I've oh, just realized, it eh, doesn't matter. Anywho, um, so yeah, chicken and one buck salad for dinner. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's that's it that's where my my stupid little brain is churning the stupid hamsters in the brain um god when i was in full-on depression it was terrible the hamsters were really really bad they they if anyone has suffered from depression and you've got that um regurgitative thought there's a word for you try and use that tomorrow um the the hamster wheel the hamstering um, with the, I don't know, the worrying, the fretting, the thinking, the thinking, the thinking. Um, you know, when you're at the height of depression, everyone kind of goes, oh, you, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to do such and such. But your brain still is running a million miles an hour and you don't get a break. Um, <laughs> that was actually one of the things I noticed when they first put me on Prozac was the, the radio in the head went silent. It was like... Um, it's kind of lonely in here. Hello. <laughs> it was so weird. I actually said it to my GP. I put it on a blog because I actually blogged everything when I was going through medications and medication change um, and that kind of thing. I think I put it onto a blog spot or something and um, just got it out verbally, on, like on writing. Writing was my thing um, before I started the, you know, the vlogging, the, the, the personal kind of chit chat. Um, words and speech, I suppose, stories, maybe. Um, and I'm really, really bad at taking my own advice. So if I give you advice, I don't do it. I, I know it, I but I, it's really hard for me to kind of go, okay, I'm going to do it. Or I'll do it and it's kind of like, this is, this is a big deal. Like, I think somebody was kind of saying, you know, if you just want to give up smoking kind of thing or alcohol you know whatever it is it's just a decision and yeah okay it's kind of just a decision but it's so much more than just a decision um 
the, one thing I do keep saying to people is if they're struggling, one step. Um, and if it's just one step, it's just one step. Or you're standing and you're holding your ground. Um, yeah, and I, that's something that I really have focused on for me too. Um, is it's it's just one step. Because you look back and you've got so many steps away from whatever it was back there. So that's that's my theory and I certainly live by that one. Um, yeah, Sophie's not resurfacing. Um, I don't know what is happening with visiting, with seeing Marcus, Sophie, post-surgery, um, whether or not he'll come in twice a day, once a day, whatever it's going to be. Um, I don't know how tired I'm going to be post-anesthetic um, or pain or anything like that I don't know what to expect and the unknown kind of scares me they all know what I'm going to be going through the nurses and neurological thing and I kind of I'm going on to the neurological ward and I had to actually ask Google tonight what does the neuro what does neurosurgery mean and it goes into um anything to do with the head the spine and the nervous system so it's like ah okay right I get it now stop freaking out going this is serious this is, well like, it's serious but it's like okay it's maybe well not that it's not serious but you know what I mean it's not the brain I think yeah anyway, I'm rambling and I know I'm rambling I'm gonna have a drink and then I'm gonna say goodbye so from the point of view of when I'll see you again I don't know um I will do all that I can to bump things up to the stratosphere. This is where having my own laptop would be handy because my OBS would be on it and you'd have pictures in the right place or programs in the right place. Whereas using my work computer, everything is locked down. You can't install squat. So I couldn't edit things to make them all pretty. So you'll just get what you get if you get it. So, um, yeah, from that point of view, I'm kind of clueless and not knowing what kind of service I'd have either, whether it would even allow me to upload. So, um, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, it's an early start tomorrow. Uh, it's last minute packing as usual. You know, when you're catching a flight, you can't really pack your toothbrush because you're going to need it. But when you go to bed and you're going to need it first thing in the morning, um, you can't pack... Um, shoes or your slippers because you might you know and it's just all this so I've got to write it down to keep notes so I know grab this this and this and that's kind of it and put them into either the bag for Marcus or the bag for me you know what needs to be in the hospital when I go in for surgery and what needs to come in later because it's valuable um I don't want to have too many valuables with me when I'm conked out so to speak um they have kind of said you know put your valuables down the bottom of your bag and I'm kind of thinking my bag is tiny um there's nowhere to put anything so um yeah there's that um so yeah it's the usual kind of oh what do i bring you know um it's gonna be late in the day do i get a coffee when i wake up marcus are you gonna bring me a coffee at lunchtime asking for a friend um it was funny we were he's watching all sorts of random crap, really. Usually to do with 3D, 3D printing, like wacky pre 3D printing, or Hoonigan. Um, Hoonigan is on YouTube, and Hoonigan is basically um, a stunt car driver. Does lots of burnouts, does lots of drifting, does lots of donuts. That kind of crap just seems to lay rubber on the road. Anyway, so he's watching Hoonigan or he's watching the 3D printing and, you know, wacky things getting 3D printed. Like, um, he, we watched some guy who built a 3D tank in his garage. Like, it was freaking awesome. I loved it. I geeked out on it. It was so fun. But anyway, he got recommended to watch my vlog. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's gold. <laughs> my husband's getting recommended for my channel. <laughs> Along with me having getting recommended I did three or four times in a week to watch my own channel <laughs> it was just like this is ridiculous can I even subscribe to my own channel like oh god yeah um 
that certainly made me chuckle. Um, yes, hospital food, not looking forward to that at all. <laughs> Jeez, I'll be getting Farkas to smuggle food in for me and he's not going to do that. Well, he might, he'll make me a coffee from home and bring it in in my thermos. Uh, the thermos is brilliant, so it'll last for hours as well, which is really, really good. Um, the only thing is I can't put a straw in it and leave the lids closed. So the lid would have to come off and then the straw in so I can sip it while I'm in bed. Don't have a problem drinking coffee through a straw. I've done that before. It's weird, but you get past it pretty quick. Actually, I'm not even sure we've got straws. The hospital probably will. Dear. So that's the one thing I'm going to be craving. A coffee and probably something nice to eat and they're probably just going to offer me hospital sandwiches uh, maybe i should smuggle in some cakes too like a, an almond finger and something else i was really good when i was out with my son i had a tea um and they kind of go you, you know you ask what kind of tea have you got and they kind of go oh well, we've got english breakfast green tea blah blah and it's like green tea bleh, yuck but the english breakfast is kind of a staple so it's not too bad so um <laughs> Stupid things that you think of. Um, all right, look, I've talked your ear off enough tonight about really crap, um, weird hospital boring stuff. Um, I will talk to you soon. Uh, the messages that I have had, by the way, um, I got a video tonight. I don't cry. You made me cry, woman. You made me cry. And as for the kiss at the end, shit, that just floored me. Um... But it's not just that video. I'm going to cry again. Um, it was some of the messages and just the encouragement and everything else. Um, thank you. I don't do the crying thing. I don't do the soft feely thing. I do the pushing away thing and fuck off and leave me alone because it hurts kind of thing. That's what I do because that's the only way I could function. Um, yes. So please stop. <laughs> don't stop. Because I need to hear it. Because I'm a tough bitch. And yes. I'll be a sour old hag if I don't. Anyway. Mm. Okay. Now I'm sniffing. Bye. Um, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Um, pressure's not on me by any of you guys. You guys have been so good. Pressure is on me from me. Um, and wanting to let you know that I'm okay. So I might put up a photo on the YouTube community page of me in the hospital bed um, afterwards or something because it's, it's not going to be me up walking around having a freaking martini, I'll tell you that. So, you know. Um, yeah. I'll let you know that I'm okay. And, um, yeah. I'll talk to you all soon. Um, very, mu very much appreciate the encouragement, the friendship and everything else. And it's more than stupid commission likes oh, you, you, yeah I your comments really made my day um, and now I'm really sniffing so before I get too really mushy and sentimental I'm gonna go all right thank you good night and yeah I'll talk to you soon bye for now <laughs>